Hi everyone, we're going to do three examples of ambiguous case of the law of sines. That's where you have a side-side angle triangle, so there's no anchor for one of the angles. And uh, as I stated in the previous video, first of all, you should watch the videos that have two solutions. Um, but when I have the side-side angle one, I go ahead and draw the two triangles. I'll make this side over here a little longer. I'll draw it over here. Make this side a little longer. Uh, that doesn't look very good. So let me make this a little longer here. Okay. And I'm going to fill everything in. So I always start with this angle here. It doesn't matter if it's alpha, beta, whatever, but it's going to be 50 degrees, then 3. The side across from alpha is little a, and I'm going to put my b here. And my B is 2, so this would be beta, and this would be my gamma, and I have to find C. I'm going to copy it here, so I have 50, but this would be my beta 2. We already know it's going to be one solution, but I want to show you a different method um, than you usually see. So this is 2. Now, when the side across from the angle given is bigger than the other side that's given, then there's going to be one solution. So the side is greater than the B there. So what we're going to do is just first of all find my beta 1. And then I'm going to see if I have two triangles. And this just gives you a better visual by drawing both triangles. So we have sine of 50 degrees over 3 equals sine of beta over 2. You cross multiply and you get 2 sine of 50 over 3 equals sine of beta. And um, so sine of beta is approximately 0 0.5107. And you have to do your inverse uh, sine of 0 0.5107 and that's approximately um, 99 wait what is this uh, 149.3 degrees so this is 149 wait 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 it's not 140 it's 30 sorry I'm looking at my notes. This is 30.7 degrees. So 30.7 degrees. Now, to see if I have another triangle, I have a visual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 180 minus my 30.7 degrees, and I get uh, 149 three degrees. So if I had another triangle, this angle here would be 149.3 degrees. And as you can see, when you add these two up, this is going to be greater than, um, this would be 199.3 degrees, which is greater than 180. That means we don't have the two triangles. We only have the one. So that means one set of solutions here. So now all I have to do is just solve this like you normally do. And I'm going to get my gamma 1, which is going to be when I don't even have a gamma 2, so we don't need to, need to call it gamma 1. So I'm going to take 180 minus 30.7 minus 50, and that's going to give you um, 99.3 degrees which is here, and then um, just solve for C. So we're going to get, uh, I'm going to always use this one, sine of 50 over 3 equals sine of 99.3 degrees over my C. So C equals um, 3 times sine 
of 99.3 degrees over sine of 50 degrees. And you use your handy dandy calculator and that's going to give you uh, 3.86 for that C side. The side across from gamma is 3.86. Okay? Okay, so let's move on. And the next two examples, I suggest you try to do them on your own and um, then check. So pause the video and check. So these are, this is my information. I'm going to draw two triangles. And they're not drawn to scale for sure. I'll make this side, this side over here a little longer. I'm going to fill in everything. So we have 40 degrees. And I always put my first angle here uh, when I'm first starting because if not, I'll get a little confused. So it's 40 degrees. The side across from 40 is 4. I'm going to do it on this side as well. And then I always put my extra side on this side. Then I label uh, everything. So the side across from, the angle across from C is gamma. And uh, so this would be alpha, and this would be A. So I'm going to go this. If we do have another triangle, which we don't, but I'm going to show you why. We have uh, alpha 2, gamma 2, and uh, C2. And I forgot to put my 3 here. And my 4s look like 9. Sorry, that's a 4. And what you notice is the side across from the angle given is larger than the other side. And that's the key that there's only one triangle. So let's go ahead and solve for gamma. So we have sine of 40 over 4 equals sine of gamma over 3. You cross multiply and you're going to get sine of gamma equals 3 sine of 40 over 4 which is approximately 0 0.4821. So uh, my gamma is going to be inverse sine, or sine inverse, a 0 0.4821, which is going to be approximately, which actually equals, sorry, 28.8 degrees. So this is 28.8 degrees. What I'm going to do is go ahead and check, because I'm just learning this, to, sorry, see if I have a gamma 2. Gamma 2 is going to be 180 degrees minus gamma 1. So gamma 2 is 180 minus 28.8 degrees, which is 152, or 151.2 degrees. Now, we're going to have to discard this because if you add these two together, we can't get that angle less than uh, 180. In fact, this is 191.2 degrees, which is bigger than 180 degrees. So we just disregard the second solution. And from there, we're just going to solve for my alpha. Um, my alpha is going to equal... 180 minus 40, these are all degrees, minus 28.8 degrees, put degrees there, and that equals um, uh, 111.2 degrees. So this is 111.2 degrees, and then all I have to find is my A. So my A it's going to be sine, and I always use this, what they gave me, in case I made a mistake. Uh, sine of 40 over 4 equals sine of 111.20 over my A. So A equals 4 sine of 111.20 over sine of 40. And using your calculator, that's going to give you um, 5.8. So 5.8 is your 
uh, solution. Okay, and here's one more example. Again, I suggest you, uh, you already know it's going to be just one solution, but um, if you draw both triangles, you can get a better uh, feel of uh, why the one triangle or one, the other extra solutions will be discarded. All right, so we have um, this information. I'm going to draw my two triangles. I'm going to erase this because I don't like it. All right, I'm going to draw this. I'll make this side a little longer. So this would be 5, 3. Um, the side across from the uh, 5, the angle is 100. And if you notice, I'm going to draw my other triangle, make this side longer because 5 is longer than 3. It really doesn't matter um, as long as um, you just label everything. So I know that this is beta. And 3 is C, so this is going to be my gamma, and I don't have my alpha, so I don't have my A. So alpha and A, this would be 2, 2, gamma 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the law of sines, sine of 100 degrees over 5 equals sine of gamma over uh, 3. You cross multiply. And you get sine of gamma equals 3 times sine of 100 over 5. And so this is approximately 0 0.5909. So gamma is inverse sine of 0 0.5909, which gives you uh, 36.2 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to write that here. This is 36.2 degrees. And now I'm going to see if I have another triangle here. So I take, uh, so if I can see what that value is. So I take 180 minus your first gamma, which is 36.2 degrees. And that's going to give you um, 143.8 degrees. So this is 143.8 degrees. Clearly, just by looking, 100 plus 143.8 degrees is bigger than 180. So it's because 243.8 um, is greater than 180. So we don't have another triangle. So all I have to do is figure everything else out. And... Um, I'm going to figure out my, well, my alpha, I just have to subtract. So my alpha is, my alpha equals 180 minus 100 minus 36.2. These are all degrees. And so my alpha is going to be 43.8 degrees. Forty three point eight degrees. And all you have to do is find your eye. You're just uh your eight. You're just doing like you normally did when um you first learned the law of signs. So I usually uh go ahead and pick this one. I don't pick my gamma one. So sine of one hundred over five equals sine of I'm picking that, uh forty three point eight degrees over a, cross multiply and you get A equals 5 sine of 43.8 degrees over sine of 100 degrees. So my A is going to be um, 3.51 
and there's my one triangle. Okay, the next video I'm going to do is intro, and I'm going to go ahead and do it with uh, examples. Uh, the ambiguous case of the law of signs where there's no solution or no triangles at all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.